Hi, it's Barton Jennings here. In this interesting case, I have a patient who had a lung nodule situated right on the diaphragm on the right hand side. The lung nodule was only small, but it had shown some increase in size over a previous six months of scans. So trying to biopsy this was important. It was a difficult case, so I'll show you the CT and then how I was able to access this using Radially Bus. CT scan shows some asbestos related pleural plaques as well as some fibrosis towards the base of the lung. The right hemidiaphragm appears a bit elevated. Towards the base of the lung there's quite a lot of fibrosis as well as a hiatus hernia. If I scroll back we'll see the lung nodule situated right in here. So this is measuring about 18 millimeters in its long axis and you can see it's close proximity to the diaphragm here. If I look back at the airway anatomy, I can see that the right middle lobe is coming off here. And as I scroll down, it looks like right middle lobe segments are heading towards this. So although I can't see an airway going straight into it, the right middle lobe segments usually go quite straight. So I think I'm a reasonable chance of being able to find it on the radial e bus. It's certainly too close to the diaphragm to be able to access percutaneously under CT guidance. If the needle was coming through here, it would be very close to the diaphragm and it would move a lot. So I certainly think that biopsying this with Radi Libus is the right thing to do. It will also be a tough case because of the amount of fibrosis. And in the setting of fibrosis with pleural plaques, the likelihood of asbestos exposure is confirmed and I suspect that this will be a lung cancer. This is the radial EBUS image that I obtained, the ultrasound here in the middle. And you can see the hyper-echoic border of the tumour surrounding the radial EBUS, confirming that the ultrasound is within this tumour. So now that I've located it, I can leave the guide sheath in place and biopsy this, and that will give me a very high yield for a diagnosis. So the biopsy actually confirmed that this was a carcinoid tumour. I had suspected it may have been an adenocarcinoma, given the asbestos exposure and the presence of fibrosis. So being able to biopsy this nodule was very important because the treatment for a carcinoid is going to be very different than what it would have been if it was adenocarcinoma. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstrating the ability of Radi Libus to target difficult nodules in the lung in difficult positions. I'd love you to leave me a comment below and like my video and I'll continue to make more. Okay, thank you. See ya.